discuss about uh, room database and how it works in MVVM architecture so let's get started so uh, first of all let's uh, add dependencies I have already added these three dependencies are those uh, you have to add in your project I will give uh, these in the description box after adding these you have to add this plugin as well so uh, let's start so first class uh, that we are uh, gonna make is our user class or our uh, that might be the table or uh, elements or columns of our table or attributes so, uh, so we can call that user user and it is gonna type of data class so data class now uh, this is our entity so we will annotate it with entity entity and table name string user so uh, uh, this is our table that will have attributes or column so first column will be our id well id or unique identifier it is gonna be the integer second will be our name and that's gonna be string and third one is email and again string so uh, but uh, we have to declare anything here as a primary key as well so we will annotate with primary key auto generate is equal to true it is gonna be our primary key id and it will auto generate after doing so we have to create another class Down. this is our table this is our table and we will access this table with the help of DAO DAO which is uh, which is uh, the acronym of data access objects and it with DAO Here we will write our methods to add, insert, update, delete. All CRUD options can be performed here, and we can write queries here as well to fetch our data. First method that we are writing is to get the list. This is user, and we want to get list of users. So, mm, fun. get all users and it will return us live data of that type list of that user so I'm going to with query select all from what was trending there users Users and users. Select all from users. Next method is to insert. So we don't need to write query for insert. We will just write suspend from and it will accept user data class it is our insert function and in place uh, in case the id that user is uh, entering or our primary key if it is uh, present in our database what to do on conflict on conflict strategy dot replace it will replace that primary key 
next uh, same method can be used for same method can be created for uh, delete but Let's move forward to our third class that is uh, gonna be the database it will actually return us the database here we just have created the model or our table the user now will help us to access that table but that table must be present in our database so for the database we will create another class First of all, we have to annotate it with database. Dict is equals to of type user colon colon class or job. And version of our database is this one is abstract class right of abstract function here as well abstract from user dog that will return as user dog the thing I forgot here is to extend in that here we have created our database but it will just return us the database so for the instance of database we will make another class named database and it will type of object or the instance what it will do now it will return as the variable private variable instance instance of type app db write our method if database is null what to do create instance of that right for creation of instance of our database let's write a method fun get instance this method uh, is almost same everywhere The first argument is a context. Context dot context. And the second argument is the class that is uh, our RTV code and code and class or Java. And the third argument is the name. Return it as well as also return. Okay, we are getting this as it. Return it. Let's format it. Let us organize the code. So we will make a package db. 
these two classes as well in full factor now to show data on our activity what we have to do uh, we use view model and because uh, we are using MVVM architecture so let's create our view model So first argument that is gonna take here is application application we have extended the view model now Now <coughs> is equals to database dot get instance that we have created and we will pass our application that's context context here and we want user log. What we have done so far, we have we call this class database the object creator we will get instance uh, we have passed our context here and with the help of this we are uh, actually telling our application that go to database and return our instance of this user dog user dog to access our database which database of uh, this table right get all users in this variable now we have to pass this variable to our main activity but for that we have to write method fun add user add user that will accept user we will say that view minus go dot load user dot dot add user which user that we are using an argument that we are getting an argument we have added our user same method will be for delete command D we will just rename it to delete user and delete user which user this user that we are getting a value argument let's do the final work go to our main activity i have cleared all these concepts of view binding so if you haven't watched uh, that go and watch the first video of this playlist uh, let's create the object for our view model Private data network VM VM. What we will say here, we will say VM is equals to view model. View model provider. It will ask the observer to of type. Vm colon we have created instance of our view model now 
or let's observe with the help of this view model. Here it is em dot. Dot all regions dot pixel this is our context pixel what we will say our view binding dot txt hello that is this set this text here equals to it what we are getting dot get it at zero agent as we are getting a list or we will call with the index dot email but we haven't added anything here so let's add a new instance annually vm dot add user user what is gonna be the id in contacting zero name code part email email.com let's run our application and see what happens finally our application is running here as you can see i have uh, given email.com as email and asked uh, this to return email as text let us call this to name and it will do that so now uh, here uh, our name is printed so in case you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will give this code uh, codes uh, github link in the description you can check out and if you like this video press the like button and hit subscribe please